I have a reputation. Wow, we'd like it to be good. Mashallah. Everyone wants to have a brilliant reputation. And so sometimes what happens is people accuse us of things that are damaging to our reputation. And that's not a nice thing. Allah Almighty warns us not to falsely accuse others. And Allah Almighty warns us to solve matters in a way that does not mess the reputation of those who perhaps are good people and they may have made a mistake. But sometimes when a crime is committed, you cannot hold back claiming that I'm going to protect this person's reputation because the question is, what reputation? So we ask Allah to grant us dignity and respect. We ask Allah to protect our reputation. And at the same time, we will assist to protect the reputations of others, especially where they are unfairly or unjustly accused. We have a surah, Surat Nur. Surat Nur, named after the light. Beautiful light. The light that grants clarity. Obviously, the light of Allah. Allah is described as light. So it's a beautiful light mentioned in this beautiful surah. But at the same time, it starts off with mention of adultery and the punishment for it. And then a crime that is even worse is to accuse others of having affairs when they haven't. To accuse others of committing adultery when they haven't. You may have seen someone talking. You may have seen people having a meal together. You may have seen them doing something, but you cannot conclude that the two are having an affair. You cannot conclude that the two have committed adultery. And if you were to make that accusation, then Allah Almighty says that is one of the worst things you could ever do. It's worse than the adultery itself. To accuse someone unjustly, without witness, without proper evidence, Allah Almighty warns us and says that the punishment of it is tasted in this world and in the next. So if we look at Surah An-Nur, Allah Almighty says, those who accuse the chaste women, chaste women, وَالَّذِينَ يَرْمُونَ الْمُحْصَنَاتِ Verse number four of Surah An-Nur, those who accuse the chaste women and do not present evidence of that accusation of adultery or fornication, they should be punished. They should be punished severely. That's what Allah Almighty says. So, Islamically, if a person were to accuse someone else, they should bring evidence. If they don't, they would have been punished. May Allah Almighty protect us. This shows us how important it is to protect our tongues from uttering words that are unacceptable. You will never be able to connect with Allah if you have accused his worshippers of things they're not guilty of. Even if it's not adultery and fornication, this is probably one of the worst examples, but it's given in the Quran, which means one of the worst things that could have happened.